Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV, A Day in the Life. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make mushroom risotto. Now, this is what you need. This is the only things you need to make mushroom risotto. First of all, you need mushrooms. I have two types. I have shiitake mushrooms, and I have cremini mushrooms. Now, cremini mushrooms are also baby portobello mushrooms. I have one yellow sweet onion, I have Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese, butter, unsalted, olive oil, eight cups of chicken stock, yep, you need eight cups, arborio rice, you can't make risotto with regular rice, you can't go to use Uncle Ben's, you need Italian arborio rice, and some Chardonnay, uh, which will be added later. So, first of all, let's go ahead and Mince up the onion. Okay, when you're going to mince the onion, you want to slice it, not all the way through, but like this in several places, and then slice it, not all the way through, in several places this way, and I'll show you what happens once you've got that done. Okay, once you have the onion sliced this way, and this way, you can just go across, and notice you get a perfect dice. So just chop your entire half onion that way and we'll add it to the pan. So there are our diced onions and we're ready to be put in the pan. Before you start actually cooking your onions and your mushrooms, it's good to get the chicken stock heating up on the stove because when you make risotto, you actually ladle the chicken stock into the rice slowly, but it has to be extremely hot. So get both of these containers in there and make sure it gets really hot. In our skillet, we're going to add about a quarter of a cup of olive oil. That's going to be for cooking the onions and the mushrooms. And also, we're going to put the rice in here a little bit later on. Okay, we're going to add our onions into the oil. This is on over medium heat. We just want them to get translucent. We do not want them to brown. Now we're going to go ahead and stir these up a little bit. Spread them out a little bit so they have some room to cook. Now let's go talk about mushrooms. Okay, these are the mushrooms we're going to be using in our mushroom risotto today. We have a cremini, not cremini mushroom. This is a shiitake mushroom. This one's cremini. The shiitake mushroom, we're going to be using only the tops. We're not going to be using the stems because they're a bit tough and woody. But we're not going to throw them away either. I'll talk about that in a second. Now, the cremini mushrooms, or the baby portobellos that you may see them in the store, need to be cleaned. Never wash a mushroom in water. Take a tea towel, pick the mushroom up, get off all of the bits of dirt, and just put it back down. You want to keep them dry, as dry as possible, but clean them that way. Get all the bits of dirt off of them. Now with the cremini, we're going to take off the stem like this, but we're not going to throw this away. We're going to save it, put it in a bag in the freezer for all of these, and we're going to use it for making a vegetable stock later because it has a great flavor. It's just they're very hard to eat because they're very woody. Now, time to chop up the mushrooms and get ready to put those in as well. Okay, so here are our onions, nice and translucent. We're going to put in our cremini mushrooms. And we're going to put in our shiitake mushrooms, all nice and chopped. A little stragglers there. Now we'll turn these with the spoon here, mix them up with the onions. Now you'll notice I'm not salting the onions or the mushrooms. Salt actually makes the mushrooms rubbery and we don't want that. These mushrooms will shrink down and they will release a lot of moisture on their own. Once they're cooked the way I want them to be, before I add the rice, I will salt and pepper the mushrooms and the onions. Notice also, 
Our chicken stock is hot, which is really good because we're going to need that when we use the rice. When the mushrooms are ready, we'll add the rice. A cup and a half of Italian arborio rice, as a matter of fact. And here's our stems from the shiitake mushrooms. I'll put these in the freezer so I can use them for my vegetable stock. It'll add a lot of flavor when I make that. That will be another edition of A Day in the Life. Okay, you can see that the mushrooms have um, shrunk down quite a bit, at least some of the liquid. So now that they're actually cooked, I can now add the salt and pepper. I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of salt and pepper right into the mixture here. Stir that around. Now we're ready to add our rice. It's a cup and a half of our Borea rice. And you want to add it in here, no liquid yet, notice. I'm just going to add the cup and a half of rice. And we're going to stir that around until it's all coated and opaque. Come back when that's happened. Okay, we've been stirring the rice and mushroom and onion mixture for about three minutes. And the rice is all coated. And now it's time to add some broth. So take a ladle that you have. Take a ladle full of broth, and then come over and put that into the rice. And stir. This, di this dish actually makes you stir almost constantly. Now you'll notice all the liquid that's in here. When the liquid is gone, it's time to add another ladle of broth. We'll just keep stirring this until it gets to that consistency. Okay, so you can see that there's no more broth there, so it's time to get another ladle. And put it into the rice. And of course, the next thing we have to do is stir. Continuously stir. Okay, before I add the next ladle of sauce, or broth, I'm going to add about a cup of Chardonnay. And give it that flavor. This will also give the alcohol plenty of time to reduce and cook off. And I'm also going to add now my next ladle of broth. Because the Chardonnay is not hot, therefore I don't want it to stop the rice from cooking. Okay, so this is what our risotto is looking like. About five more ladles of broth were put in here, stirring constantly. And then what, what happens is, when it gets to this consistency, we're going to add some more stuff. But first we're going to take it off the heat. So I'll turn the stove off. And we'll move it off the heat. Once it's off the heat, you want to add about a half a cup of that fresh Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese. Nicely shredded. And four tablespoons of room temperature butter. Put those in there too. And then stir it to melt the cheese and melt the butter. And we'll come back and see what that looks like when it's done. So you see the consistency now, nice and velvety. Cheese is all melted, the butter is added, a nice gloss to the rice. Now, time to plate, serve, and eat. And there it is, mushroom risotto. Mmm, I tasted it before, it's really good. Go ahead and make it. It's not very hard. You can use it as a main dish or a side dish. I think you'll really enjoy it. This is David Hale with Tech Dive TV, A Day in the Life. You have a good day.